This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a four dial combination disc padlock. This one is branded Delswin, but you can find the exact same lock with several other names or no name at all. They're made in China, and unlike many similar looking stainless steel disc padlocks, the mechanism in these tends to get sticky and seize up after being left in the weather for a relatively short time. Sometimes these can be revived with a generous dousing of lube, but in my opinion, they're really not worth the trouble of servicing every couple of months. As you might imagine, decoding these is a relatively simple matter with a tool like the notch decoder that I sell over on covertinstruments.com. The blade is only six thousandths of an inch thick, allowing us to squeeze it between the lock body and code wheel and feel for the flat spot that corresponds with the correct digit. So, we're going to try to decode this, but first, I need to change the combination to something I don't already know. To do that, we need to open the shackle, move this switch to the change position, and while the wheels are facing away from us, give them a good scramble. Okay, that should be good. Let's move this back to the operating position, close the shackle, and scramble the wheels one last time. Okay, I now have a lock to which I do not know the combination. I'm going to insert the decoder between the lock body and code wheel. Let me actually move the wheel with this turning tool so you can actually see what's going on. The decoder will move back just a little bit once I've found the loose spot or the flat spot. Then I can move on to the next wheel. We already have the first two wheels decoded. Moving on to the third. And the last. Okay. We need to move each of these dials down by two digits before the lock will open. And our combination should be 9143. Okay, folks, as you saw, with the right tools, decoding these is a fairly trivial matter. And even if that weren't the case, the tendency of these locks to seize up when left outside in the weather is reason enough to avoid them. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.